Hey guys, this is Bandosaurus here, and today I'm going to teach you everything you need to know about map monkeys. We're going to go through everything from registering to posting in the forums to uploading your own videos to the site. So the first thing you're going to want to do is register. If you just look up here in the top right of the site, you'll see the little register button. So you're going to go ahead and click on that. So once you're here at the registration page, all you need to do is fill in your info, then click the register button at the bottom. You should get a confirmation in green that says your account was created. Now that you've made yourself an account, all you have to do is look back in the top right and click login as, instead of register. You're going to type in your, uh, your username and password that you just made. Go ahead and type those in. And then, if you check the Remember Me box, the site will remember you and you won't have to re-log in every time you visit. So that's a pretty useful little, little tool. So the next thing you want to do is probably just head over to the forums. So up here, if you look in the nav bar, you'll see the forums button. Let's so go ahead and give that a click. You should end up here at the forums. And uh, once you get here, the first thing you're going to want to do is check out the rules. So you'll see right here, there's a section named Rules. Click on that, and then choose the Community Guidelines thread. Now you're going to see a bunch of rules here. Just go ahead and give those a read through at least once so you make sure you're not going to get in trouble on the site. After you've read through the rules, the next thing you want to do, go back to the forums, go to the Introduce Yourself, and go ahead and drop us an introduction thread. We want to know about you, we want to know why you're here, what you want to do, anything like that. You can tell us anything. After you've introduced yourself, you can really do anything at this point. You can head back to the forums, post around, read some other threads, do whatever, or you could head up to the video section right here. You're going to click videos up in the nav bar. That'll take you to this screen. You'll see all these different boxes. We've got all kinds of videos from Call of Duty 2 all the way to Halo Reach and more. So let's say I wanted to look at a video for Gears of War 2. I'm going to go ahead and click on Gears of War 2. Let's say I wanted an Easter egg, so I'll click on the Easter egg section and there's something about toast. So I click on the toast video, shebang de bang now you see there is a Gears of War 2 video playing and uh, you can check out comments, you can leave a comment, you can really do whatever you want at this point, but I'm going to show you a handy dandy little trick to make the video bigger. So right here, you can either hit these four arrows to make the video full screen like this, or you can grab this little triangle in the bottom right of the video, click it, and drag it out, and the video will get bigger inside the browser without going full screen. It's a pretty cool trick, and you can mess around with that. So now that you've seen some of the glitches and videos that we've uploaded, maybe you want to upload something of your own, right? So you're going to head right up here and click this Upload button. This will take you to another, it should open another tab or window, and it'll say Map Monkey's Uploader. Now you're just going to look at where it says Upload New Videos and click the Browse button. That'll open up a little Windows Explorer, and you want to go navigate to the video that you want to upload. So let's just say this is what I wanted to upload. I double click on it. You'll see it gets added to a little queue right here. If the video I'm wanting to upload has audio, you're going to go ahead and tick that audio box and then click the Upload button. Now this video I don't really want to upload, so I'm going to skip the next part. But once that finishes, you should see a blue box kind of appear right here that'll tell you that your video is done and you need to add info for it. So once it says that, you can go ahead and up here, click on the Videos button, and you should see your video that you uploaded will be right here where it tells me I have none. You'll have one video. Now, there's going to be a little button that says Needs Info. So you're going, to, you're going to go ahead and click on that Needs Info button and then add all the info for your video. The game it's in, the maps it's in, the section, add a little title and description helping people know what you're doing, and then go ahead and click Save. After you save it, that video will be in your Pending Videos. And it'll sit in here until an admin approves or disapproves of it. So if an admin approves of your video, it'll go ahead and get uploaded to the site. You'll see it on the home page in the recent videos, and it'll get added to that video section for what you added it for. Now back to the main site. If you look over in the chat, you'll see a ton of different people's names in a lot of different colors. Orange names mean that somebody's an admin. They're the highest authority on the site. They control the rules. They regulate the things. Green names mean that person's a moderator. The moderators are kind of below admins, but they're above normal members. They can help control everything, keep the forums clean, and approve videos also. Red names are recorders, or people you can contact if you have a glitch or a strategy or something that you want to add to the site, but you don't have a cap card or a way to record your own. So you can just send one of them a chat request or a message, and they'll get back to you as soon as they can to help you out with what you need. If you see someone with a yellow name, that's somebody that's bought premium on the site. Premium is a way that people can help the site by donating or paying to get some extra features and also support the hosting and the development of MapMonkeys. Some of the benefits you get when you purchase premium are that you get the yellow name, you're able to chat with anyone, you get a custom rank in the chat menu, and once MapMonkeys 3.0 comes out, which is currently in development and it'll be a new site redeveloped, it'll have a ton of new premium features that you can only get if you're premium. And premium's really only 10 bucks for life, so it's not like you're wasting a bunch of money. 
Well guys, that's gonna be the end of this tutorial, so head on over to Map Monkeys, have fun, follow the rules, and get to places you never thought possible.